You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports fans, let's talk about Major League Baseball MLB because there is a new study out there that says that the umpires in MLB are essentially racist. And guys, this is a study from a college senior. I can't believe that this this is actually it getting any traction, but it is. And when I found this, I thought it was absolutely laughable. And I said to myself, I got to make a video on this because I can't believe that this is out there. But the only reason I believe that this is getting any traction out there because of the times we're living in. We're living in a time right now when everything is seen through a racial lens. That's just the way it is. When you're talking about CRT, when you talk about anything, we saw the athletes in the NBA and sports in general, everything was racially motivated. And this study here, man, I think it's kind of laughable to tell you the truth, but this just tells you the nature of our colleges and the way these college students actually think. Now, guys, I have two degrees. I have a undergrad degree and I have a master's degree. I never thought like these students today. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe it's something in the water where these students are just seeing everything through a racial lens. So let's dive into this. MLB umpires show discrimination against non-white players, according to study. I can't believe that they even gave this thing the time of day because check this out. It says here, new studies suggest MLB umpires discriminate against non-white players, according to Hank Snowden, a student at Claremont McKenna, a student. Now, I looked it up. He goes to Claremont McKenna in the People's Republic of California out there in L.A. And he's a college senior, not a Ph.D., not a Ph.D. study. That's completely different. That's on a whole nother level. This is a senior thesis. Nothing more. And guys, when, when you actually want to find racism, you can manipulate any kind of data, data you want to fit your narrative. You know, that's why we have Keynesian and economics. And that's why we also have uh, Milton Freeman, who was a capitalist, whereas Keynesian John Maynard Keynes was a uh, was a liberal. But I digress. It says here the study used balls and strikes data from the past 13 seasons to determine the rate of missed calls against certain players. Snowden determined which should be which, which should be strikes were called balls, which balls were erroneously called strikes, and then looked at the race of the umpire, batter, and pitcher. What Snowden found was that umpires made advantageous advantageous calls when the when their race was the same as the person receiving the advantage. This is ridiculous, guys, because one thing we know if you actually watch baseball, the batter's box is subjective. There is no complete standard from umpire to umpire. It's not. It's an imaginary box. That's what it is. That's why it's so hard to call balls and strikes, especially, you know, when you have the ball coming uh, to the catcher at 100 miles an hour. In a lot of cases, umpires got to have a very, very good eye. And it's a judgment call. That's the way it is. There is no official box. Now, when you watch Major League Baseball today on TV, you get to see the fake bots. The umpire, he doesn't get to see that. So I don't know if this student took that into consideration here. But this is um the abstract from um his uh, study. It says, utilizing 13 years of Major League Baseball pitch tracking and play-by-play -play data, this study investigates racial discrimination by umpires when making pitch-calling decisions. Two models, two models were formulated, one that predicts the probability of of a strike erroneously being called a ball, batter favoritism, and one that predicts the probability of a ball erroneously being called a strike, pitcher favoritism. The probabilities are modeled as a function of whether or not the pitcher's or batter's race is the same as the umpire's. With over 3 million pitch observations, multiple subsample and time trend analysis were conducted to examine 
with whom the discrimination lies and how it changes throughout the sample. The results suggest that umpires are significantly, significantly more likely to call to make calls that favor players of the same race and that these effects have not diminished between 2008 and 2020. Furthermore, these biases seem mostly held by white umpires who account for a wide majority of umpires in MLB. So this is his theory right here that MLB is racist. Guys, this is ridiculous, man. I'm, I'm scared to death for the future. You know, after my day passes, we're, we're seeing everything in our society being pushed through a racial lens. I don't know if they're actually teaching um, uh, Ibernet, Ibernet's Kendi in school. Maybe this guy uh, took his class where everything in society and life is racist. This is ridiculous. But check this out, guys. I pulled up the single season strikeout leaders in Major League Baseball. I believe this is actually in the history of MLB. Let me get this ad off of here. And this shows you Mark Reynolds led the league in strikeouts in, two, in um, 2009, 223 strikeouts. Adam Dunn, number two, 222 strikeouts. OK, and if you look at this list here, the top uh, 50 here is roughly in the range that uh, this student used for his analysis here. Now, if you look at these uh, players right here, the overwhelming majority of these players who led the league in strikeouts are white. So the, he determined that the white umpire, because the majority of the umpires are white. Why weren't the umpires that favorable to these white guys here who led the league in strikeouts? Why? Now, I know Chris Carter here. Chris Carter led the league in strikeouts in 2012 because he was with the Astros. I watched him. All the man did was strike out, swinging like crazy, swinging like crazy. Now, of course, you know, you have strikeouts when uh, you don't swing. But I know for a fact he was swinging at balls and missing them. Uh, Aaron Judge right here, half, half white, half black. Rhodes is a Yankees fan and Rhodes is not a bit fan of of Aaron Judge because what does he do? He strikes out a lot. Ryan Howard, black guy, another guy that struck out a lot. He led the league in back-to-back -back seasons in strikeouts. But for the most part, guys, all of these guys on this list here, all these guys here, for the most part, are white. They are. I mean, even a player that is widely considered to be the best player in Major League Baseball is on his list. Mike Trout, 2014, led the league 184 strikeouts. And he is a white guy. So th this, this, this study here is completely ridiculous here. Now, here's, here's the funny thing here, based on this study here. It says the difference amounts to, and actually, let me, let me read this first here, because this will give you more context. Uh, the study used balls and strikes data from the past 13 seasons to determine the rate of missed calls against certain players. And uh, Snowden, Snowden determined which should be strikes were called balls, which balls were erroneously called strikes, and then looked at the race of the umpire, batter, and pitcher. What Snowden found was that umpires made more advantageous calls when their race was the same as the person receiving the advantage. But here's the thing. The difference amounts to get this 0.3 percent. And it says which, while small, can be significant over the course of a single season, according to Robert Arthur of Baseball Prospectus. 0.3 percent. And his conclusion is that umpires are racist. It says here these effects are small, but also large enough to be noticeable, mistaken Calls are about 0.3 percentage points more likely due to race effects, according to the study. Snowden estimates the umpires called about 18,000 pitches differently over the 13 year period of the study because of racial bias, meaning a little more than a thousand change calls per year. Any individual player might 
might only receive a handful of these in a season, but for black players in the league, already struggling against discrimination in other regards, any additional barrier is a significant problem. So this is what this student came up with, that black people are being discriminated against. Black baseball players are being discriminated against in baseball. How can anybody actually take this serious? How? How can anybody actually take this study serious, folks? I have no idea. Man, Walt Sports has gotten out of control, man. Colleges gotten way out of control. So 0.3 percentage points has determined that major league umpires are racist, mainly talking about the white umpires because they represented the vast majority of the umpires. And guys, actually, if you look at the, the trends here, there's actually more minority umpires now actually umpiring call calling balls and strikes now than there was back in uh, 2008, I believe, when this uh, study started here. But what do you guys think of this? Major League Baseball called out by a college student saying that your league is racist based on balls and strikes. Even though people that actually watch the game know that the the batter's bots or the, the strike strike and ball bots is subjective. It There isn't really a real box there. It's an imaginary box and it's a judgment call. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this black and white sports fans? Oh boy. I feel bad for the next generation of college students here. I don't know what they're teaching. I really don't, but I'm not surprised since this uh, study came from the people's Republic of California at a liberal arts college. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to black and white sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.